we want to work with people who already at a at a level of distress and dysfunction like i love to say that you know distress and dysfunction to require attention from a psychiatrist so this dysmorphology i think it has been the most uh, rewarding because you can now looking at the way the face and body has been created as a result of the genetic unique signature you can actually surprise people by telling them about certain adhd oblique uh, oc features oblique impulse control which is very gratifying for the patient you almost yes. feel like a <laughs> like a clairvoyant right and and that of course that increases the patient's faith in yes. in the doctor being able to read certain physical signs and it's it's rooted in very good science and i think this is something keeps, which which will serve every psychiatrist very well plus it gives patient three things number mm. one the idea of a non biological mind goes out of window oh, because yes. the brain is there mm. the definite proof is there that the traits can be analyzed from the various body structure so yes. that must be brain number 1 number 2 we when understand that response of anything any therapeutic procedure there is a very fine equation total effect of a therapeutic application is real effect of that application plus minus expectation of patient from that application yes which comes as placebo or nocebo right plus minus expectation of patient from that therapeutic environment which again comes into placebo or nocebo plus minus understanding of the therapeutic application applier means the doctors or the medical staffs who are that procedure yes that again actually contributes towards the bias cognitive bias of the therapy provider right to see how well performing on Agreed. so why giving the patient a rundown of their character yes we are increasing the placebo value of whatever we are going to offer